Hi, everybody. Welcome to our community call for Team Africa. And I'm so glad to be back. Oh, so good to see everyone. Okay. Coach Fred. All right. Um, okay, so I got to listen to the recordings for the community calls. So amazing. So amazing. Um, I love those calls. They're so much fun and so exciting to hear all the different things that are happening in Africa and all your different <coughs> projects that are making a difference and all those golden hearts out there <laughs> joining us. And what I would like to do, since you are speaking right now, is please tell us how is the Juice is Juicy project going? YEA project going? How is that going for you? What's happening? Tell us any updates around it. And actually, you know what? Tell people what the project is because there are some people that may not know. Well, thank you very much. Um, yes, this project, uh, Juice is Juice, was started uh, some good months back um, after a very interesting story that I had to to air out on one of the television stations here where I normally, I'm normally i normally hosted once a month to give some business skills to the young people, uh, especially the youth. And uh, I came up with an idea that I shared on a TV and everyone was very amazed that uh, at least a little girl, one of the, a little girl or a single mother can be in a position to start uh, a small income generating project, project with as low as $50 uh, and the business in equation was uh, that this, um, that one can make a juice and put it in a gel can uh, with the disposable glasses and walk around. People can buy that juice and uh, uh, be in position to, to support the single mother, raise some money to cater for the children and for, for his life, and as well as practicing his entrepreneurship skills, her entrepreneurship skills. Uh, so uh, when I unveiled this project to Carol uh, through Christy under the YEA project. Uh, Carol was very, very much happy about it. And um, <laughs> she she decided to take action immediately. And we need, we had a sample of uh, the first five girls where we gave them uh, all the equipment, a bucket, a knife, uh, a t-shirt and uh, we gave them uh, a squeezer and we gave them some money to buy passion fruits and oranges to start up uh, the project. And uh, I'm so glad that at least the first five girls are now strong in their own businesses and um, in their own business and they are, they are learning more Jewish types, like the cocktail. They are, they're, they're learning Jewish out of papaya. They are learning how to mix the Jewish from oranges to mangoes to make the mixed kind of juice, which is very beautiful. So they have at least expanded their knowledge and the products are kind of coming up. And then later on, we added more girls. We added more girls, especially from the from Divine Aesthetics Vocational and Business Institute who adopted the project also. And uh, they are also doing great, especially during the break when they go home, they do juice and sell, then they can be able to raise some money when they are coming back to school, they are in position to support their parents with the uh, scholastic materials and other stuff as young girls. And uh, when they come back to school, they work together. They work together and they do their juice and sell it at school with their teachers, with their fellow learners, uh, with the people who are around that area of Divine Vocational Institute. So they do sell juice. They make it as a group and they sell it. Uh, so basically we are looking out to see how much we can expand this program uh to ginger you know we had a, we had a, a program i wanted to go to ginger and see if i can train and expand the project however coach carol was uh not feeling very well and i also i was also going through some <laughs> tough situation over here but i think we are well to commence with a program we are however, this is um yeah so that is all about it briefly that's all about it uh, i'm very glad to report that the girls are doing all right uh they are doing as much as they can. And uh, when you provide juice, then people also demand for something like a bite. They demand for a bite. So this is where 
uh, then Divine Vocational Institute is coming in under the catering class so that these girls can learn, especially those who are attached to Divine Vocational Institute, they are learning some few skills in catering, in bakery, so they can do half cakes, they can do uh, <laughs> cookies, they are trying to learn how to do cookies such that when someone is selling juice, then someone can also buy a bite to take it alongside the juice, and that's how they are trying to expand. Yeah. <clears throat> So awesome. And guys, so the next, our next plan is to send him to Jenja so that he can train some of the single mothers there in Jenja to be able to move it on. So he's now going to like kind of franchise his business that he's created. Yeah. How exciting. I wanted to go to Jinja on Tuesday. I wanted to come to Jinja on Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday is a, uh, Tuesday is a, is, a, is a good day here. It's called Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to donate my time on Valentine's Day to be able to meet those girls with the child. I don't know. Maybe God will make a way. I wanted to be in Ginger on 14th of February. Okay. So we'll see what we can do around that, okay? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so awesome. if Richard is ready, I will be very happy to come to Ginger on 14th of February. That really, is next really Tuesday. awesome. And... um. You know, I, I know that this is kind of a tough time for you, but Coach Fred, um, we we have lots of plans that are happening here. And I want to get you on my YouTube channel so that I can interview you so people can know what you're up to and what you're doing. And we plan to do that. And then I got sick. So now let's definitely plan for that. Let's make that happen so that we can start the GoFundMe around your project, okay? Get that All going, right. okay? Awesome, right. really, really awesome. And so excited for the future of these single mothers um, yes. because you're gonna be able to duplicate this many, many places. I would love for you to go to Kenya and duplicate it. I'd love for yep. you to go to some other places and be able to duplicate it. So you have lots and lots of, of juices, juicy girls, YEA project out there happening. 